Tribunal. Judges from Britain, America, Russia and France assemble in Nuremberg's courthouse. Empowered to impose sentence of death or such punishment as it may consider just, the tribunal sits in judgment upon 20 leaders of the Nazi party. After a first day spent in reading the 30,000 word indictment, the unemotional tones of Lord Justice Lawrence, President of the Court, open the second day's proceedings. On Thursday the 18th of October, 1945, in Berlin, the indictment was lodged with the tribunal and a copy of that indictment in the German language has been furnished to each defendant and has been in his possession for more than 30 days. So begins the case of humanity against the makers of war. The defendants to plead guilty or not guilty to the charges against them. Hermann Wilhelm Goering. Thinner and without the notorious medals, the once mighty Nazi number two still postures in the limelight. While he waited in the dock, he wrote a statement which he tried to read before entering his plea. He said, before I answer the question whether I am guilty or not guilty, and that was as far as he got. Before I ask the question of the Gerichtshof, I ask the question, if I am guilty or not guilty, or not I inform the court, the, the court that defendants were not entitled to make a statement. You must plead guilty or not guilty. Furious, the one-time Reich Marshal shouts, I declare myself not guilty. And now Hess, the mentally hazy Hess, the lost memory man. Rudolf Hess. That will be entered as a plea of not guilty. The ribbon top, pale, nervous, picks up the refrain of not guilty. Object lessons in psychology. The character of each comes out in the manner of his not guilty plea. Uh, Wilhelm Keitel. Ich bekenne mich nicht schuldig. Wilhelm Rick, Ex-Minister of the Interior. Nicht schuldig. Julius Tracker. Pronounced sane by medical experts, Jubator number one stands trial with the rest. Nicht schuldig. Walter Funk. This is Hitler's ex-economic advisor. Nicht als schuldig. Yalma Schach. Hitler's money wizard varies the words, but still pleads not guilty. Ich bin in keiner Weise schuldig. Erich Rader, ex uber chief. Ich bekenne mich nicht. The Nazi youth leader. Baldo von Schirach. Ich bekenne mich im Sinne der Anklage als nicht schuldig. Arthur, Arthur Seiss Inqua. Ex Gauleiter of Holland. Ich bekenne mich nicht schuldig. Albert Speer. Now the backroom Nazi and armaments chief. There have always been ambitious and ruthless men ready to gamble with the lives of their fellows. Now for the first time, international gangsters stand trial as common criminals. Goering, still trying to read his statement and still getting nowhere. You are not entitled to address the tribunal except through your counsel at the present time. Opening the Allied case against the defendants, Chief American Prosecutor Justice Jackson. Of opening the first trial in history, 
for crimes against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility. The wrongs which we seek to condemn and punish have been so calculated, so malignant and so devastating, that civilization cannot tolerate their being ignored because it cannot survive their being repeated. Goering was still switching from glum despair to spells of clowning at the end of the second day's proceedings. But the lengthening lists of counts covered by the indictment left its mark on everyone but Hess, who showed little interest in anything. Goering wrote sheet after sheet of notes and suggestions for his defending counsel. Ex-war chief Keitel and Ribbentrop spoke only rarely. Hess came to life once. Perhaps he'd forgotten to remember he'd lost his memory. On the third day, Major Coogan took over the prosecution. First, a brief reference to the history of the Nazi party. The court will no doubt recollect that the National Socialist Party had its origin in the German Labour Party, which was founded on the 5th of January, 1919, in Munich. It was this organization, which Hitler joined as seventh member, on the 12th of September, 1919. At a meeting of the German Labour Party held on the 24th of February, 1920, Hitler announced to the world the 25 theses that subsequently became known as the unalterable program of the National Socialist German Workers' Party. As a new religion, the faith of the blood, superseding in individual allegiance all other religions and institutions. The defendant Rosenberg and the defendant Stryker were particularly prominent in disseminating this doctrine. Much of the evidence to be offered in this case will illustrate the Nazi conspirators' continued espousal and exploitation of this master race doctrine. Imagination sickens at the crimes laid upon the accused, now stripped of the trappings of power. The world's writ has run to Nuremberg, and justice waits. <laughs>